Hi everyone, I'm Luigi Groton, Herbalife Nutrition's Vice President of Training. We know that these are challenging times for many of you, and we wanted to reach out, make sure that we gave you some of the basics on immune health, especially as it applies to nutrition. You know, a lot of the things that we're eating every day, whether it's food or Herbalife Nutrition products, have an association with good health and especially good, strong immune function. Now, a little bit about me. I joined Herbalife in 2005. My background is in clinical nutrition. I went to school here in Los Angeles, California. And uh, as I said, I've been working in training since 2005, working with our global network of Herbalife Nutrition Distributors. And today we're gonna talk specifically about immune system functioning. So a lot of people are asking, what is the immune system? It's highly technical and it's very complex. So we wanna keep this really simple. One of the ways our body uses the immune system is as a defense. So think about uh, your house where you live, the walls and the alarm system you may have in your house or your apartment. This is basically what the body is. It has defense mechanisms for invading pathogens. What are pathogens? Bacteria, viruses, fungi, um, all these different things that we don't want inside of our body in high amounts. Now, a little bit of this, a little bit of that's not gonna bother us, but when there's too many of these invading pathogens, we gotta fight them off and we gotta eliminate them. As soon as these invaders are detected, the immune system's activated. Okay, so there are two types of immune response. There's something we call the innate immune response. That simply means that there's an immediate reaction. Then there's the adaptive immune response. The adaptive immune response takes a little bit more time. So think about the innate uh, response as quickly eliminating those bacteria and viruses or foreign material that enter the body. That's the fast reaction and that's what our body does. The adaptive immune response is really interesting because it's almost like creating memory and they remember a lot of these invading pathogens. So the next time they show up, they can kind of eliminate them quickly. So it takes a little bit more time to develop, but it's very precise and very effective. So look at this visual. If you look on the right side first, you'll notice the innate system has the physical. And I always like to start with the physical because think about our skin health. You know, a lot of us, we eat Herbalife products. We have a great diet that's complete and balanced with our food. But it's important to recognize every time we're eating our products and our food, we're also protecting our skin. We're getting good skin health. And the skin is the first physical barrier that helps in terms of these invading pathogens. Now, a lot of things live on our skin. There's bacteria, viruses, and fungi all over us all the time. But we live in harmony with our environment, and we keep a lot of them outside of the body. So the skin is a very important area, and that's why we love talking about skin health and herb life. Also, think about it, sneezing, coughing. You have a lot of barrier protection that keeps some of these invading pathogens outside the body or kind of hanging outside so that we're living in harmony with them. Now, there's also a chemical part of the innate system. That's the mucus, the stomach acid, the enzymes. As soon as you eat food, it gets into the stomach and there's acid that's breaking down a lot of these invading pathogens that might be sitting on food that you're eating. Okay, so physical, chemical, and of course, cellular for the innate system is the um, something that we call the phagocytes. Uh, they turn on, they turn off. These are some of the immediate cells that start attacking um, these invading pathogens. So that's the innate. Uh, the adaptive, of course, is what we talked about, a very specific sort of learn, learned response. So think about, let's say, someone with a bow and arrow, uh, someone with a crowbar, or if someone like a fireman or firewoman, and they have these very specific roles, they know what to attack. So we wanted to give some visuals for the innate and the adaptive so that you can kind of understand. Now, this is where I believe Herbalife Nutrition plays a big role in supporting people with their health is good nutrition. And of course, we love to talk healthy, active lifestyle. So those two things in particular really help build strong immune health. Okay, so many of you have heard about our global nutrition philosophy, which is simply our roadmap on what we should be eating and consuming and what we should be doing. There's vitamins and minerals, healthy fats, up to 30% protein, rest, hydration, carbohydrates and fiber, exercise, and something called phytonutrients that many of you are aware of, which are simply plant-based nutrients. So this is what Herbalife believes is most important for the body, having this global approach to balanced nutrition where you're consuming the right nutrients in the right ratios. 
Now, in Herbalife, the first thing that um, the founder of the company, a gentleman named Mark Hughes, the first thing he launched way back 40 years ago in 1980 was a protein shake. In fact, Herbalife today, 40 years later, is the global leader in meal replacement shakes, which is pretty amazing when you consider there's a lot of different meal replacement shakes. Now, I'm not talking about just a tub of protein. I'm talking about a very specifically designed shake that has the right balance of protein, vitamins and minerals, fiber, a little bit of phytonutrients, and maybe some trace elements. And that's very difficult to make. We're very good at making these shakes. We've been doing it 40 years. And protein is the important nutrient. It's the primary driver in that shake, if you will. Protein's an essential component of every cell in the human body, including immune cells. And that's why we know there's a strong association between protein, lean muscle mass, which is what we think of as having your muscles, your biceps, your chest, triceps, all that good stuff. When you eat healthy protein, it supports your lean muscle mass, and that is associated with a healthy immune system. Now, this may seem a little bit complex. Just recognize your body is a very complicated machine. It's got all kinds of things going on, stomach, lungs, uh, intestine, uh, fat cells, your breathing mechanisms, your liver, your, your white and red blood cells, bone, skin, all of these tissues require protein. This is why there's a government minimum wherever you may be living, whatever country you live in, there is a recommended minimal intake of protein so we don't starve. So you can't just drink water, breathe the air and make protein in your body. We have to consume protein every single day and that's why there's a government minimum. Now in Herbalife, we believe often the government minimum may be enough if you're sitting around all day, but when you've got kids in a busy active lifestyle or you're running around as an Herbalife nutrition distributor, you may need a little bit more. That's why we recommend a certain amount to make sure you service the body. I just told you what protein is. It's the structural component for the body. Where is it in the products? In terms of Herbalife products, there are different sources of protein. Now, a lot of people have a balance. We call them omnivores. They have animal uh, nutri nutrients and they'll have plant-based nutrients. Um, so if they're having milk, if they're having dairy, they're fine with having whey. So take a look at our high protein iced coffee, which has a whey protein source. Um, and if you take a look at Herbalife Rebuild Strength, the Herbalife 24, which is made of a very high quality whey protein in both of those products. Now, for those of you who only wanna do plant-based nutrients, soy, we believe, is a fantastic source because it has all the amino acids in one plant. I know a lot of you may have customers or a lot of you say, well, I don't really care for soy, no problem. We're gonna use other plant-based nutrients such as pea, quinoa, and flax in our tri-blend select. So you have these three different sources, whey, soy, or other plant-based sources, pea, quinoa, and flax. And those all are giving you the essential amino acids. And that simply means, again, if you're building a structure and you're building tissue in the human body, you have to have all these essential amino acids. You can't just have one, you can't have two, you need the full complement. That's what Herbalife provides. When you think of our hero product, a lot of people in Herbalife, um, this was the first product they started with, Formula One. The important thing is it comes down to a balanced, healthy meal. It contains 25 vitamins and minerals, and it has these really important vitamins and minerals that we like to talk about when we're, when we're talking about supporting the immune system. Vitamin A, C, D, B12, zinc, folate, and selenium. We've got them all in the shake. And these, of course, are very important in terms of association with healthy immune function. Now, remember, protein keeps healthy uh, lean muscle mass. When you have healthy lean muscle mass, and you don't have to be a super big, strong uh, weightlifter, as long as you feel good and you know you're at your optimal weight, that's important. And that lean muscle mass is associated with immune function. Whether using Formula One or a tri-blend select, Think about TriBlend, natural source of protein, fiber, and vitamin C. So it doesn't matter the source of the protein, just understand that as long as it has all the essential amino acids, that's the key. Now, in a lot of our foods, we don't talk about fiber. What is fiber? Well, think about if you go outside right now, I know a lot of us are staying indoors, and you started just finding plants. You started taking some plants, you see a bush, a tree, and you start chewing on it. Well, guess what? 
those plants, those trees, all those things out in nature have fiber. And fiber, we do not digest it. It moves through us. The great thing is there are two types of fiber. There's the a soluble fiber, which moves sort of slowly through our body. And then, of course, there's um, the insoluble fiber. That just moves through you very quickly, and that's what gives us sort of a regular bowel function. So we talk about the insoluble and the, and the soluble because we need both of them as they're, they're very essential in the human diet. Why is this very important for immune function? Well, it, think about the long tube where the food goes in your body. We call it the alimentary canal, but it's your digestive system. And through that digestive system, you have different things. You've got, you've got cells, and believe it or not, you've got what's called a microbiome. It's an assortment of microbes, bacteria, and other different types of microbes, and they need healthy fiber to eat. And when they get healthy fiber, they help support the immune system. So a huge part of your immune system is in your digestive tract. Fiber is not just some, you know, just a bowl of oats. It's really important associated with immune health. So what's, what Herbalife Nutrition products have fiber? Well, think about taking Formula One and mixing a delicious oat apple fiber. If you're doing one scoop, there's five grams of uh, uh, fiber per serving. And of course, with our tri-blend, if you're going to use something like Beta Heart, um, six grams of fiber per serving. Now think about it. It doesn't matter what country you live in. Every government and regulatory agency recommends about 30 grams of fiber, 25 to 30, let's say. The average person in your country, I can guarantee you, is only getting, getting about 14 to 15 grams a day. So everyone's at a deficit. I'm talking about customers outside of Herbalife. And so if we give them our Herbalife products combined with healthy food, we can help them meet, let's say, the 25 to 30 grams. Now, of course, we want everyone eating a healthy diet, a balanced diet. We want to encourage that. But this is where our products are really crucial. We can help people meet those goals by filling in the gaps, okay? Now, one of my favorite areas to talk about is healthy fats. Since we're talking about immune function, we got to be very careful because we don't want to make claims that taking your sushi or taking your daily fish or using your herbal lifeline fish oil is going to boost your immune system. We can't make that claim. However, we know that healthy fats are a very important part of the body's normal functioning and associated with immune function. They're needed for normal functioning of the immune system, vision, brain, heart. And here you see the heart function, the brain, vision, blood pressure, and triglyceride levels, okay? So we know these are the claims that were allowed, particularly in Europe throughout the region. But understand, when you go back to our global nutrition philosophy, remember we talked protein, carbohydrates, and fiber. Uh, and of course, we want to talk about fats. So this is an important part. We say up to 30%. We know many of your customers are on um, newer types of diets, which may include higher amounts of fat. That's okay if they want to do that we've got a great source to provide them um, with Herbal Lifeline Max. So whatever the source they want to use, whether it's natural and uh, let's say in foods that they're eating or Herbal Lifeline Max, which is a fantastic pure blend of omega-3s. And of course, that's the blend of EPA and DHA that we need that are essential in the body. So we've covered the macronutrients. Again, think of the big nutrients that, we, that you can sort of um, uh, consider when you're eating food the protein, the fats, the uh, carbohydrates, and fiber. Now we're going to go into the micronutrients. Everything we eat should have vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. And these are mainly found in our fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, the great thing is these essential nutrients, they have a direct impact on our immune health. Now, we know that most of the world's population doesn't consume enough fruits and vegetables. Throughout the European uh, region. I know many of you have seen these public health measures where they're trying to get you to eat five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. This is crucial. Get your five, five fruit and veg. They're really, really important uh, because those fruits and vegetables, especially when they're different colors, give you different vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. So it's not just a fancy campaign. It's really for healthy immune functioning. And talking about vitamins and minerals, we're going to get right into some specifics. Now, understand this is what we put in the Herbalife products, okay? Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, folate, iron, zinc, selenium, copper, and the B vitamins, including B6 and B12. These are specific 
nutrients that support the immune system. And guess what? We have them in the products. Let's get into one of our amazing products, Formula 2 multivitamin, and we have the men and women's version that provide the 24 key nutrients, including vitamins A, C, D, B6, B12, folic acid, zinc, iron, copper, and selenium. All the things that we just discussed that contribute to the normal functioning of the immune system. Okay. So you got to have these. Now you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute. What about if my customer's eating food? A lot of your customers are going to say, listen, I have regular food. I eat pizza on the run. I have a cup of coffee twice a day. I eat some chips and then I may have a beer at the end of the day. You guys, that's not packed with nutrients. Many of those processed foods don't have these nutrients. They're devoid and deficient, specifically in these vitamins and minerals. And that's the whole problem with the modern diet. It's processed. That's why Herbalife Nutrition is so important. We help to support the body with these nutrients. Now, vitamin C, it contributes to the normal functioning of the immune system. It's found in fruits and vegetables, including citrus fruits, broccoli, bell peppers, and strawberries. We know that the recommended intake is about 80 milligrams a day. That's equivalent to two small oranges. So whatever form that you're getting your vitamin C in, fantastic. However, if you know that someone's not getting sufficient vitamin C, I want you to take a look at the Herbalife products that we have vitamin C in. Our Formula One healthy meal, 39% of your recommended intake. Uh, Triblend has 23%. Our vitamins and minerals for men and women, 313% of the recommended intake which by the way, is absolutely fine for the body. Whatever we don't use, we simply void out of the body. So it's absolutely fine to have a little bit more vitamin C. Rose Guard has 100% of your recommended intake, uh, vitamin D. Now, um, this is really important as it applies to nutrition. Whenever we go out in the sun, especially during the summertime, our sunlight allows our body to manufacture vitamin D. Now, the problem is during these challenging times, a lot of us are staying indoors for most of the day as recommended, and we may not be getting sufficient uh, vitamin D from the sun. So of course we wanna get dietary sources of vitamin D. Now there's plenty of dietary sources, oily fish, eggs, nuts. The recommended intake is about five micrograms. That's equivalent to a small portion of mackerel filet. The beautiful thing is vitamin D also is in our Herbalife products. In Formula One, 40%. In the vitamin and mineral complex, 400% for men and the 200% in the women's. And the protein drink mix has 38%. And Formula One Sport has 38%. So many of the products that you think are just simply, let's say protein, actually have things like vitamin D that we often don't talk about. Zinc is a mineral that we love to talk about in relation to immune function. And it's great because in most countries where you live, we're allowed to talk about contributing to the normal functioning of the immune system. That means we can sort of make that claim. So it's mainly found in nuts, seeds, meat, fish, and shellfish, and dairy products. The recommended intake is about 10 milligrams, equivalent to 20 tablespoons of dried sesame seeds. Selenium is another mineral, contributes to normal immune function, found it in Brazil nuts, fish, meat, vegetables, and whole grain cereals. That's equivalent to about uh, 55 micrograms or one to two Brazil nuts. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the Herbalife Nutrition products that have both zinc and selenium. Formula One has both zinc and selenium. Uh, our uh, F2 vitamin and mineral <clears throat> for both men and women have zinc and selenium. Our protein drink mix and our Formula One sport. Now we're gonna get into the third chapter. I often talk about essential Mark Hughes, named after the founder of the company. And why do I say that? Because Mark Hughes came up with this interesting emblem. I'm wearing it on my jacket right now. It's the aloe vera leaf. It represents the aloe vera plant, one of our big products. This is the sign of the company, the mark of Herbalife Nutrition, right? And it's based on plants. Uh, you know, I always joke, uh, Mark Hughes didn't put a picture of a chicken, an egg, or a cow on here. He put plant nutrients. And so this is when he created the products, a lot of the nutrients he took right out of plants, whether it's rosemary extract, schizandra, uh, green tea, soy, quinoa, all these things that we make the products come directly from plants. And plants have these beautiful nutrients in them called phytonutrients. Phytonutrient, plant-based nutrients, are the nutrients that can, that can help reduce oxidative stress and boost the immune system. Think about this. If you look outside, trees that are outside are exposed to sunlight and they're, in, uh, they're exposed to the wind uh, to insects and animals trying to eat them up. So those plants need to build up 
protection against this oxidative stress. That's what we call them antioxidants. So they're usually used in plants to help support oxidation from the elements. The beautiful thing is when we eat them, humans, we consume them, it protects our body and helps support the immune system. So that's the basics of phytonutrients. Why is it important to have five a day? You get all these different nutrients in sufficient amounts. Now, here's a great example. Rose Guard contains a range of carefully selected botanical ingredients, rosemary and turmeric. They help, I love this, they top off your daily intake of antioxidant substances. So just understand something like Rose Guard provides 100% of the recommended intake of vitamins A and C, which contribute to the normal function of the immune system. Now, part of that healthy active lifestyle is also exercise and regular moderate intensity exercise helps maintain proper immune function. So we suggest that people aim to exercise at least 150 minutes a week at a moderate intensity. If you work out at moderate to intense activity every day, great, continue that. Sleep represents a key part of our lives. We spend 20 to 30% of our, of our lives in bed. And it's important because it influences our emotional well-being, our cognitive functioning, daily performance, and our physical health. So there's a lot of emergent science uh, and evidence that chronic partial sleep loss might be more detrimental to immune function than short-term total sleep loss. So getting sleep is really important. The important thing is your body has been refurbishing and rebuilding and supporting immune function. And that's when you can tell when someone's really gotten a great night's sleep and they feel great. I want to do a quick summary. We talked about nutrition, the macro, the micro, the phytonutrients. Those are all important for immune health in terms of making sure you have a balanced diet, having your herbal like nutrition products, and having the full complement of products with all the nutrients that we talked about. We also quickly addressed exercise and sleep and rest. So I really appreciate your attention. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I want to say I wish you all the best of health. Take good care, and we'll talk to you guys soon.